So to, to assure that we're doing the work that we need to do, we use a high resolution uh, X-ray as well as high resolution mapping, electrical mapping. We're able to register the inside of the heart to an image that's been taken either by CT or MRI a day or two before. That allows us to make sure that we're having all the various nooks and crannies of the heart that are involved in atrial fibrillation. But really what we need to do initially for somebody with paroxysmal atrial fibrillation is to isolate the pulmonary veins. To isolate the pulmonary veins, we place a small little wire into the pulmonary veins and look at the electrical activity. If there's no electrical activity in the vein, then we do not treat that. If on the other hand there is electrical activity, then we either do a stepwise application of radiofrequency energy or burns around the opening of the vein or we place a balloon into the vein, we occlude the vein temporarily and then freeze that opening edge as it goes into the vein. This is the, the uh, approach that uh, we use as well as everyone in the world uses for what's called pulmonary vein isolation. That is the first preferred approach to treating atrial fibrillation.